Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 5 on partial ordering. In this lecture, we are going to introduce some new notations for partial orderings. Uh, we have uh, seen that a partial ordering relation is nothing but that relation which is reflexive, antisymmetric and transitive. And suppose R is a partial ordering on set P then set P together with relation R is called a partially ordered set or in short we write it as coset. Now we are familiar with the converse of a relation. Converse of a relation is denoted by R tilde or another notation is R inverse and is defined as ordered pair B A such that ordered pair A B belongs to R. So, if R is a partial ordering relation on a set P, then R inverse or R tilde is also a partial ordering relation on the same set P. That means if set P with relation R is a partially ordered set, then set P with converse of R is also a partially ordered set. We can easily prove that if R is a partial ordering relation on a set P then converse of R is also a partial order relation on the same set P. Now uh, if you recall uh, we have used this notation for partial ordering. Instead of writing R we are using this less than or equal to notation to denote the partial ordering on a set P. So, for converse of relation, we will use this notation greater than or equal to. So, if R is a partial order relation on set P, then R tilde is also a partial order relation on set P. And in other words, if less than or equal to is a partial order on P then greater than or equal to is also a partial order on set P. So, if P together with less than or equal to is a post set that is partially ordered set then the same set P with the converse of this relation denoted by greater than or equal to is also a partially ordered set and this set capital P together with this relation converse of this less than or equal to is called dual of this partial order set P with less than or equal to relation. This is called less than or equal to and this is called greater than or equal to and both are converse of each other. But here we make sure that this is just the notation for partial order relation and this is just the notation for the converse of that partial order relation. Uh, we can consider this example also. We know that if we consider this set of integers then less than or equal to relation is a partial ordering on the set of integers. That is z together with less than or equal to relation is a partially ordered set. Now converse of this relation less than or equal to is greater than or equal to relation. So z with greater than or equal to relation is also a partially ordered set and these two sets are dual of each other. And uh, we have discussed that divisibility relation also. We know that z plus is a partially ordered set uh, if we consider divides relation on z plus. So, converse of this divides relation is integral multiple integral multiple. This is called divisibility relation. This divisibility relation is defined as set of all those ordered pairs of positive integers such that A divides B. And converse of this relation is this set of all those positive integers such that A is n multiple of B. A is an integral multiple of B. 
so this relation is converse of this divisibility relation this is r inverse divides relation and integral multiple relation are converses of each other so if you consider z plus with divides relation and z plus with this integral multiple relation then both are a dual of each other this is another example and uh, this is one thing which i wanted to discuss here that if capital r is a partial ordering on a set p then the converse of r namely r tilde or r inverse is also a partial ordering on p if r is denoted by less than or equal to then converse of r is denoted by greater than or equal to so if p is a partial ordered set then p with greater than or equal to is also a partially ordered set and this set is called dual of this set for example if we consider this set of real numbers with less than or equal to relation then dual of this coset is set of real numbers with greater than or equal to relation because we know that converse of less than or equal to relation is greater than or equal to relation similarly these two relations divides and integral multiple of r converses of each other and therefore uh, these two sets z plus with divides relation and z plus with integral multiple of relation are duals of each other so this is one thing which i wanted to discuss another thing is suppose we have a partial ordering relation on a set p that is less than or equal to is a partial order relation that is less than or equal to is reflexive symmetric uh, reflexive anti symmetric and transitive now corresponding to every partial order relation we can associate another relation which we denote by this notation less than notation and it is defined as if i have two elements x and y in p then x and y are related uh, by this relation that is x is less than y if x is related to y under this relation but x and y are different so remember this is important relation associated with partial order relation for every partial order relation we can associate another relation which we denote by this symbol less than symbol and that relation is defined as if we take any two elements in coset p then the, those two elements are related to each other if they are related by partial order relation but they are different similarly with uh, uh, dual also we can define that relation suppose i have greater than or equal to which is dual of this then corresponding to this greater than uh, we can define this uh, relation denoted by greater than in this way x greater than y if x is greater than or equal to y but x and y are different so remember this is very important notation for every partial order relation we can associate another relation denoted by this symbol and uh, that relation is defined in this way for any two elements of set p x is related to y if x is related to y by partial order relation but x and y are different we are going to use this relation in the hash diagram of partially ordered sets we are going to represent partially ordered sets using graph and that graph we will call as hash diagram that we will discuss in upcoming lectures so for the drawing of hash diagram we will require this relation which is associated with partial order relation so that i have written here we define another relationship which is associated with every partial ordering less than or equal to on set p and which is denoted by less than this relation less than is defined for every x y in set p as x less than y if x is less than or equal to y 
but x is not equal to y. Similarly, corresponding to the converse partial ordering that is greater than or equal to, there is a relation denoted by this symbol such that x greater than y if x is greater than or equal to y but x and y are different. So these relations less than and greater than are obviously anti-symmetric and transitive but they are not reflexive and they are irreflexive because this because of this condition x is not equal to y if x equal to y then x and y are not related under this condition or under this condition so therefore these two relations are not reflexive therefore they are not partial order relations but they are associated with every partial order relation they satisfy these two properties anti-symmetry and transitivity but they do not satisfy reflexive property. So this is all about this session. In this uh, session we have discussed about dual of a partially ordered set and uh, we have also discussed the relation denoted by less than which is associated with every partial order relation and we are going to use this relation in upcoming lectures. So this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.